Last month, two Foothill High School students were struck by a distracted driver. Now, some neighbors there begun to take matters into their own hands. 23 ABC's Mark Christian is live tonight at the intersection to explain what safety measures may be added, and he has reaction tonight from neighbors and students. Mark? That's right. That's right, Todd. Just taking one look at this intersection here at State Route 184 and Eucalyptus Drive reveals some potential problems. For one, that light you see over there does not shine down on the crosswalk, which is 20 feet away. And the crossing sign across the street is being blocked by trees, which makes it difficult for drivers in the other direction to see the sign until it's almost too late. Residents have two words that describes this intersection. Busy and dangerous. And they want drivers to pay attention and slow down. If not, they fear somebody's going to get killed pretty soon. It's an accident waiting to happen. It's a ticking time bomb. Last month, two Foothill High School students were hit in the crosswalk as they were walking to school by what cops called a distracted driver. Well, you need to pay attention to what you're doing when you're driving, you know, and not be looking for stuff in the, in the center console and stuff like that because these kids are hard to see right here. It's, they're really hard to see. Now, since the accident, someone had posted two homemade signs alerting drivers of the crosswalk, but students and parents want Caltrans to do more for their safety. I think it's dangerous. I believe they should put a stop sign so people know to stop and watch out for kids and be safe. After the accident, high school administrators advise students to use extra caution when they use the crosswalk. And parents say it's constantly in the back of their mind if their kids will make it across the street safe. As a resident, I lived here for years. It's my concern because my daughter goes here, and I'm, I'm kind of nervous every time she walks at my door. The CHP says this year alone, another pedestrian was struck here, and two separate vehicle crashes also occurred at the intersection. Now, Alex uh, Navarro, who's lived at the corner years. for 34 years, says the accidents, though not always major, just keep piling up. A lot of uh, fender benders, and my fence has been running a couple of times. I lost one car here. However, Caltrans, who maintains the highway, says there hasn't been enough incidents at the intersection to merit any any additional traffic control. I think it's a poor decision. That speaks for Caltrans, okay? Now, late this afternoon, we spoke to Caltrans who said this area will be getting some upgrades as far as these signs. We're told they're going to be made larger and brighter, making it easier for drivers to see. And those upgrades should be happening within the next couple of weeks. Back to you.